Hello world, Shelly here, and today I've got what has got to be the most requested product I have ever seen on my eight years on YouTube, and that is Alter Ego's take on the colorway from the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. The minute I posted my first look out of the Natasha Denona palette, I can't even tell you. The comments were like, is Alter Ego gonna dupe it? Is Alter Ego gonna dupe it? Is Alter Ego gonna dupe it? And they did not spill the beans. Like, they, they made it obvious that they heard the requests, but they did not spill the beans and, uh, but they listened. So here we have it. Isn't she gorgeous? This is the Daylight palette. And if we compare it, Side by side, let me get the other one open. This is well loved. I use this palette a lot. Uh, so here we go. Side by side. So as per usual, I'm going to take both of these palettes and I will do one eye with one of them, the other eye with the other one so that you can guess which one is which. And I'm also going to be using cat hair, their new seven piece brush set. Now the daylight palette is $22. This brush set is $24 for all of these brushes. And there are two things that make me very excited. I already used the blush brush and I have to say I did my normal, well normal, what I've been doing lately, my essence, uh, it's the epic, epic electric glow liquid blush, the color changing blush, and then topping it with my Lawless Watermelon, Juicy Watermelon blush. And this has to be the smoothest blush blend I've ever experienced. These are cruelty free vegan brushes, synthetic brushes, and I am also wearing my What's Up Beauty Serengeti highlight but that's irrelevant to the brush discussion, but it is on my cheek area. The other thing that I need to point out, they made a brush that is quite similar to the, what is what do they call it? The Kitten Paw Concealer Brush from the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy, the A506, which is one of my favorite concealer brushes. They've got a similar shaped brush here. And the rest are eye brushes. And well, there's a third thing I'm excited about. So taking a look at the brushes we've got here, do you notice that we have a triangle shaped one? So this is a very similar tip and very similar density to my Smith 253 brush that I love for the inner corner of my eyes. I feel like Alter Ego does a really good job of listening to what people like and what they want and refining their offerings to incorporate as much of that as possible. And you know, you can't do that as much if you're not listening broadly to what people have to say and filtering it through, you know, priority information and what comes up the most, things like that. This brush on the end pretty similar in size and shape to my beloved Wayne Goss number 20 that you can't buy anymore in his older collection, but it's really good for that detailed crease blending and transition blending. Then we've got a larger fluffy blending brush here. That's gonna be, I, I prefer the tapered tips that the Wayne Goss brushes use, but that's gonna be your fluffy blending brush. And then we have a smaller version of that fluffy blending brush. And then we've got one that is sort of, I, it feels dense enough to be like a flat packer, but I think you could probably also use it in the crease because I think it's least, like less dense enough to be used in the crease. Not quite the same as my Sigma E25, but a similar flatness to it. So that set at $24 is ridiculously affordable. These feel super soft and I'm gonna use them. So you will get to see how they perform 
on this face, but let me get the brush, blush brush out of my way. And let me just reorganize a little bit. Let's get the brushes set out. Let me get the concealer brush out of my way. Put that in my concealer brush home. Let me decide which side I'm putting these palettes on. I have said in previous comparison videos that I really need to go back and look and see if I have a tendency to put the which palette on which side. I don't know if I do and I never remember what the last one was so I don't know if I do. Maybe I do. Someday I'm gonna look that up. Oh I think I'm gonna do it this way. I'm not gonna tell you which way because you're gonna guess as we go. So as far as what kind of look I want to do I feel like should we go cool toned? Should we go like, I mean, I know these are all nudes, but should we go? Here's what I'm gonna think. I really want to stick in these cool shades. I think we will probably need a, just a burst of the warmth in the crease, but it's probably gonna, I'm gonna lean more heavily on these shades and then for the lid, I want to go into that sort of gray in the outer corner, that silverish gray. The pink above it, I think, is going to go well with that. And yeah, so let's assume, you know, we'll, we'll deepen it up, of course, with the outer corner. Why is it focusing on my ear? Like, really? There, there's nothing to see here. Nothing interesting in my ear. I hope. Oh my goodness. Now I'm... All right. Let's mix the palettes up. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's do this thing. All right. I'm going to start with the large fluffy blender. Let's see. Do they have numbers on these? Yes, they do. 205 brush from Alter Ego. And the first shade, what do I want to do for my very first shade? Decisions, decisions. Now, I'm going to try to tell you the color names on both of them, but this palette does have, both palettes, have a few shades that are very close. So I'm going to say that Path in the... Alter Ego is pretty similar to Mesh in the Natasha Denona. So I think I'm going to start there. And in between, I will wipe my brush off in my Color Switch tin so that they are not contaminating each other. And... I do have my eyes primed with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. Let me zoom you guys in. Almost forgot that part. Oh, that's out. That's not the right way. Hello, Ziva. All right. Well, let's do this. So we are starting with Path, AKA Mesh. And again, I'm going to do one eye with the Alter Ego palette, the other eye with the Natasha Denona palette. And if I do end up not picking the right versions from one to the next in like matching them up on the fly, uh, at least it'll be close enough. You'll, you'll know because they won't look the same. <laughs> So we'll we'll try and get close enough. We're gonna we're gonna get as close as we possibly can. So I just wiped my brush off using the other palette now. This brush is actually, even though it doesn't have the taper that I like, because I like the taper because I can like anchor it into my orbital bone and then do the little windshield wiper motions. But this one's actually anchoring pretty well, even though it's not as strong of a taper as the Wayne Goss brushes are. 
trying to keep my hand out of the frame. Let me zoom in just a little more because it focuses on my hand when it sees my hand rather than keeping the focus on my eyes. So hopefully this will be okay for y'all and it will behave properly. The risk is that I'll go out of frame and then you won't see me. <laughs> but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Ziva's trying to crawl on my shoulders. We cannot have that right now, Ziva. I am busy, baby girl. All right, I'm gonna switch to the brush that is sort of like the Sigma E25 in the Alter Ego world. This is a number 204. And what did I say I wanted to do? I said I wanted to stay in the darker cool tones but that I think I might need a smidgy smidge of warmth. So let's put down the smidgy smidge of warmth. So that's going to be um, in the Natasha Denona palette it'll be the shade Wit and in the Alter Ego palette it's going to be the shade Fresh. So I'm going to tappy tap on both sides of this brush. I only want a little bit of warmth so I don't need a ton of product. I'm not going for, I just don't want to get too cool toned because sometimes too cool toned starts to look corpse-like. Although sometimes that's what I'm going for. <laughs> I like that gray toned makeup look. Like I can't lie, that really is in my wheelhouse, but that's not what I want today. I'm wearing purple today, so. I want to stay cool toned, but I don't want to be washed out, if that makes any sense. I just wiped my brush off. Going into the other palette. This brush works well for this type of use. It's got enough flexibility to it that it blends, but enough density to it that it stays put in the crease and doesn't splay all over the place. And that's what I'm going for with my crease. So I'm going to wipe my brush off and get a little more on the other side because I feel like I went a little heavier. Remember how on this eye I was saying I wasn't going to go heavy? Well, I forgot about that when I went to my other eye. So now I got to go heavier over here because I went heavier over there. I'm just used to like anchoring into that orbital bone and just pressing in there. So, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's going to be fine either way. But now I feel like I'm, I'm wiping my brush off again. Now I feel like on, on this side, I went a little bit more fluffy to the outer corner. So I need to even them out now. <laughs> I did a little bit more of that floofy floof out here. This is my uncooperative eye as far as my, I have a little spot right here that doesn't like to hold color. Okay, now, now they're even. Now we did the same thing on both sides. Okay, let's get the flat brush. It's still a blending brush, but it's more of a flat one. The 203 and, hmm. I'm going to start with a tiny bit of either Silhouette from the Natasha Denona or Coffee from the Alter Ego. Normally I would wait to go in with this after I put my shimmer down, but I think I'm going to do just a little bit first. I know I'm doing this backwards. I dipped into this side first, so we're just going to do this side first. I kind of just want to base because I don't want to take that glitter all the way to the corner. I don't think, I might change my mind, who knows, but I just want to get a little base down. We are going to come back with the smaller blending brush to kind of blend this out, but I just wanted to get in here and get a little bit of a base down. We'll fix this outer corner once I get that smaller brush going. Wiping the brush off. And let's go over here. I 
some of this is going to get covered up with the glitter, but like I said, I just want some depth so that sometimes it can be harder to get the depth when you go back in and try to layer it over a glitter, so I want it to be under there too. You know what I'm saying? This side is a little deeper in the reddish brownness, but like I said, we're gonna cover it with glitter most of it anyway. All right, Alter Ego 202, this is that flat triangle brush. Should we do that uh, that silvery color? Okay, so this is, what are the names? We are talking Delilah in Natasha Denona and Shine in the Alter Ego palette. And it's sort of a gray slash brown. Oh, that's pretty. I love this palette. You know, and I'm not a neutral kind of person. I wear a lot of color. <laughs> I don't wear nudes very often, but these nudes I do wear because they're just really pretty. And get the other one. They're just really pretty. I don't know what to tell you. Ooh, I'm really loving the undertone of the browns now because against the glitter, the undertone of that matte comes out just a bit more than I was able to see on its own. I'm glad I put that little bit of warmth down because I feel like that is kind of making this whole thing come together right now at this moment. I'm pleased with that decision. All right, now I'm gonna go into, it is Mia in the Natasha Denona or Divine in the Alter Ego. I don't know why my brain is not processing that word, but it's not, I keep forgetting. Yes, love that triangle. Do you see why I love this brush? Right there, that's why I love this brush. <gasps> Ooh, that was pretty. I love an unexpected sparkle. I mean, I knew it was gonna be sparkly, but... Oh, that is pretty. I knew it was gonna sparkle, but you know, glitter, just, ah, uh, it lights up my soul. I don't know how else to explain it. Sometimes it just makes me go, oh, in such a good way. All right, other side. Oh, I love this brush. Give me a good triangle tip for my inner corner and I am the happiest girl alive. I kind of use these bright glitters in the inner corner to sort of fake a cut crease, you know? Like so. Into that mat that I have in the crease. Yes, okay, that's enough for the flat brush. Let me get the tiny little blender. So this is the 201. This is similar to my Wayne Goss number 20. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna end up using the super dark shade again, but before I get the brush dirty with the dark, I wanna go back in with a little bit of the original transition and crease colors that we used. So, starting with mesh slash path to kind of bring that back. And got to do the other eye. And then I'm gonna bring a little bit of the warm one back. Wipe the brush off so this is wit and fresh just to make sure we have a little bit of that warmth. And to, you know, sometimes you lose the softness of that transition once you get the glitters on there. So I just wanna make sure that does not get lost. Yes. All right. 
right, wiping the brush off. Now we're going back to Silhouette and Coffee. And this is where I make sure I get that outer seven. Thanks to Nisha at Sugar Puff and Fluff, who coined it the outer seven for those of us with the droopy outer corners, where you have to have that point a little higher than an outer V, because an outer V, when your eyes are droopy, is going to droop down and drag everything down. But in outer seven, see how it lifts up? Because I put the point higher and not out to the side like a V. That is all Nisha's, Nisha's handiwork. The first time I heard her say that literally changed my eyeshadow life. Because it made so much sense to me. And it perfectly solved the problem that I had with my droopy outer corners. It just gives a little lift. So then I relax my eyes, especially on this side, because that spot right there that doesn't hold color, I gotta make sure that I got my shadow high enough that when my eyes are relaxed, you can still see it. It happens on this side too. I'm gonna balance it out just a little bit, but it happens more on this side for me. And you, you can really tell how that spot does not hold color when you look at how nicely this side holds color. It drives me nuts. All right, I'm gonna wipe the brush off. I don't know why I even try. Why do I even, there's no point in trying. I used to think that I was like just skipping it with primer and that I was missing it. No, it just won't, no color will stay there. It just won't hold color. It is what it is. All right, I don't have a brush from them that works for highlights. So inner corner, this is my Crown 513. I think I'm gonna use that same Mia slash Divine. The pink, the lightest pink in here. And just hit the inner corner with that. Wiping my brush off into the other. I feel like maybe I want to do a tiny bit of like that dark brown as a liner. Where's my Wayne Goss number five? I can't find it. That's disconcerting. I don't know where it is. So I'm going to use, oh, this one was in my Ipsy. Live Leith. I'm not sure the brand but it's a very nice pencil crease brush. It might be a little too thick for what I'm trying to do, but let's try it anyway. I just feel like I need a little uh, sort of liner, you know? But I don't want to do an actual liner. I know it's focusing on my hand. Sorry, guys. I just want a little bit of depth down there. Yeah, that's what I want. All right, wiping the brush off. Just need a little outer corner depth. Not all the way. Just so it's a little more of a gradient. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what it needed. That is what it needed. All right, let me go put on tight line, mascara, all that good stuff. I will be right back. And here is the finished look. Do you have a guess as to which side is which? All right, drum roll please. Are you ready to find out? Ta-da! This eye is the Natasha Denona. This eye is the Alter Ego. Beautiful, just beautiful. Alter ego, you done it again. You done it again. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I do have a code with them. Shelly 10 should get you 10% off. I will put it in the description down below. 
thank you to Alter Ego for sending me this free of charge, NPR, gifted. This is not sponsored. I'm not paid to do this video. I'm not even required to do this video. I'm doing it because you know I love me some Alter Ego. You know I love me some inexpensive dupe versions of things with improvements because that's, that's how they roll. They like take something that's good and put a spin on it that makes it even better. So thank you, Alter Ego. You rock. Brushes, every single one is lovely. These are going into my, my mushroom of brushes that are used on the daily. And yeah, on the rest of my face, in case you're curious, uh, I've got the, I'm testing out the Estee Lauder Futurist Skin Tint Serum Foundation, Balm Desert Bronzer, Juicy Watermelon Blush from Lawless, What's Up Beauty Serengeti Highlight, also got the Essence, which I mentioned. Did I mention it? No, I didn't. That was a totally different video. The Electric Glow underneath my Lawless Blush. It just, I like it. On my lips, I am wearing the Sashu Stain, the Lip Stain in Pinked. And on top of that, Lawless has new a new drop in the, forget the fillers, so there's this shade, is, it's a daisy theme. So this one's Daisette. It's, it's a super light pink. I've got it over a dark pink stain, but it's gorgeous. It's almost like a pink iridescent. I wonder if it's gonna come off on camera. Can you tell? It's super pretty. Can't wait to wear it alone, but this is my first time wearing it on here and it's just giving it like that awesome little color shift. They have two other shades I haven't tried yet. They have Sweet Daisy in the Lip Mask and this shade is called Candy Sky. So uh, yeah, new Lawless, new Lawless. You know these are my favorite glosses of life. So there you have it. Did you guess correctly? Did you know which side was which? Are you gonna buy the Alter Ego version? I always buy the Natasha Denona version because you know I love her eyeshadows and I love her makeup artistry. Uh, but brilliant dupe, brilliant, brilliant dupe. They're gorgeous. They blend easy. The glitters are buttery. The formula is just reliable. It performs the same from one palette to the next, to the next, to the next. There are no questions asked. So you only have to decide based on the color story if you want the Alter Ego palette or not because they are reliably the same in quality from one to the next and the quality is excellent. So that's why I love them. Bravo. Thank you, Alter Ego. I appreciate you. What do you guys wanna see next? Do you wanna see more looks out of this palette? I could do some of that. Don't mind my bangs, it's so humid here. And I got sunscreen all up in my hair today. Don't ask, like it's just been a hot mess of a day. It's super humid out. So my bangs are just like Mrrr. Yeah, that's my life, that's my life. I wasn't gonna go get a sandwich today, but I'm really hungry. I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I will. Let me know what you wanna see next. Let me know if you picked up this palette, cause I know I'm like a week after launch posting it. They sent it while I was away in Chicago and I just got home. So let me know what you think and check me out over on a Patreon. Whenever there's like sales, things like that that I come across, I post them over there. You don't have to be a paid member to access any of my sale post stuff. I put all of that on there for everybody. And uh, you just get more behind the scenes stuff if you're on one of the paid tiers. And if you join the goldfish tier, I send out a monthly handmade gift, which this past month's gold tiers got the preview version of the new primer that I'm formulating. Anyway, hit me up over there for some behind the scenes stuff and sales and all that goodness. And as always, Ziva's here to say her farewell. Ziva, Ziva, say hi to your friends. Say hi to your friends. She's here to give her farewells too. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. Thank you.